guys, welcome back to Michael Deering's Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. We are playing June. Now, I've got my game set up and the reason for that is Michael requested everybody started at day one. So episode one would be day one and there would be no longer any confusion about it, which is great. So I already spent day zero hiding in a little hole inside the dirt. So the moment I log in, it's day one because I saw it switch and then quickly logged off. And I did notice um, the sound of burning mobs. So there could be a creeper above our heads, we'll see. A uh, little information about this challenge is really, really cool. The name is Little House on the Prairie. I like to shorten it to Little because I like saying Little. Um, the biomes are large biomes, the structures are on this time, and the seed is 2067. So let's play, let's play! I'm excited, it's very early here. Please, don't let there be anything scary. There isn't! Oh wow, I was really close to that village, I had no idea. I hope they survived the night, alright? Now, this uh, challenge is called Little House on the Prairie. And it's very interesting, because it's, it's sort of a sweet challenge. I'm heading over to that tree in the distance, by the way. Collecting seeds as I go. Because you have a lot of uh, restrictions. To make it interesting. The goal is to sort of have a simple life. Build a little farm on the prairie. Uh, make it pretty. Uh, have loads of uh, uh, crops around. Variety of crops and stuff like that. But we are not allowed to use any violence. So we are living by a code. A code uh, of non-violence. And this code also includes mobs. We cannot harm mobs, directly or indirectly. So yeah, that's gonna be challenging, eh? We gotta run if we see them, basically. That's, that's all we can do. And I sure hope that this one will drop some apples, because a side effect of the fact that we cannot harm any mob, directly or indirectly, is... We cannot eat meat. We cannot eat meat. We cannot eat mushrooms. Oh. Hello. Are you guarding that tree? You know what? There must be other trees around, right? There has to be. I see some in the distance. Oh, there's a forest in the distance. We're heading that way. Come on, please give me an apple. And we need to find a spot so we can hide. Oh, I, I was explaining about the food. <coughs> Mushrooms are impure, not allowed to eat. We cannot eat any zombie flesh. Um, we cannot eat... Well, there's a lot we cannot eat, to be honest. Ooh, we can gather eggs because if I find a pumpkin... I can make pumpkin pie. And there's a lot of cows here, which is nice. I'm looking for a bit of an open spot, because the vision I have... Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Because the vision I have is indeed just a little house on a very desolate, fast prairie. And let me see how far that village is, if we can still see it from here. Nope. This would be a good spot. Okay, let's get down some more of these trees. Because we gotta hurry. Already we gotta hurry. Why am I hearing... 
zombies. Well, if I hear them burn, it's time to run. Oh, wrong button. I don't know where the zombies are. But we gotta get a move on. Yeah, we're getting wood. Um, is it getting dark already? Yes, it is. Wow, that one very... No, it's not. Sun is straight above me. Hmm. I'll chop these down so the leaves will decay and I get a little bit more of wood. <coughs> because just like last time... We are going to start with a little starting shack that will probably um, be uh, like the little uh, blacksmithing area of our final build. But something just to get us started with. Now we need to chop, 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 because I need loads of wood. And I am hoping that apples will drop from these oak trees. Nothing yet. Well, we've got a lot of seppies here. Come on, guys. Drop something. We'll head over to these here. Because I really need apples. Surviving is going to be hard food wise. Because um, apples are a drop. You have to be lucky to get them. I will try to make like maybe a little uh, farm. A uh, tree farm also with the uh, oak for apples and stuff like that and we'll make a little simple rustic build I think I like that anything folder I don't think so any apples please please no Let's help him out a bit. Come on. I know you got some apples in you. Just drop them. Drop those apples. Nope, more saplings. Well, we get, we're we getting saplings. That's not too... Uh, yay! Thank you, thank you. At least we got one piece of food at the moment. There's a cave here. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, there's a ravine there. Yep. So that is not the best spot. And I really shouldn't jump that much. Village is over there. That's way too close by. So I think the spot I had earlier, right here. Is the spot we're gonna do it at. We got some sheep over here. Which is fantastic. We got cows. We can milk. So. Home sweet home? I think so. And I'll probably just fill up these pools later. Now let's see. What would be. Oh. This one is a bit lower. Which one would be better? It's easier to take down a bit. I think. I do like the look of this, being in a little bit of a valley. So, um, plonk. Uh, no, that is wrong. Now, one other thing I haven't mentioned yet, which is very important, is <coughs> we have a no stealing rule this time. 
No stealing means that the chest that we find in um, out there, now that we have uh, structures generated, is um, they belong to whoever it is. So if it's an abandoned mineshaft, the chests belong to the mobs. If it's a village and you find a chest there, the chest belongs to the village. So we are not allowed to take those items without paying for them. Now we can pay for them by uh, providing the payment of one gold bar per item. So one carrot, one gold bar, one potato, one gold bar. Uh, let's say that the blacksmith's chest has something really cool like a saddle or hey, maybe even a diamond you want. One gold bar. And you leave it in a chest. Um, let's start. One, two. Because it's getting dark. So this is five. No, that's too small. I don't want to um, overdo my build once again with having a too large of a build. Because we know from last time that that is not the way to go. I will not be able to finish. So this is going to be for now home sweet home. And we are going down for the night. Um, and what I would like is to have maybe little, um, how do you say, variety in floors. Um, in what goes... Oh, this is bad. This is way too dark, guys. Oh, gosh. I need stone really, really bad, really fast. Come on. Where's stone? This is all dirt. Ah, here we're reaching stone. Nice. Uh... Oh gosh, I'm so, I'm, I, I really apologize for this. Oh, I'm picking up wrong stuff. I really apologize for this darkness. But we've hit stone layer, so I'll just start getting some stone so I can get a furnace going. And with a furnace, we can get some charcoal. Charcoal. Oh gosh. This is, this is terrible. This is really terrible. Oh, I'm so sorry for all this darkness. I do have the settings on the correct position. But it should really help right about now. Yes. Nice. Oh, I used up all my wood already. Oh no, of course not. It's in here. This, this little trick, by the way, to get your first shark all and put it back in, I learned from Jade. It's, it's brilliant. Thank you, Jade. That is a wonderful, wonderful trick that really saves up a lot of stuff. Now, let's light this up here. Because we need to see where we're going. Um, we are going to go mine for gold. And the reason we're going to go mine for gold is because the gold is the currency of which we can purchase uh, various items. So that's very important to have. If you want to have a variety of crops, if you want to grow carrots and potatoes because you don't want to eat the same every day, you really, really need to find gold. Now, I looked it up. Gold is between levels 2 and 29. So we are heading down to level 29. And we'll start a little branch mine, maybe. Last of my torches. 
and um, hopefully we will find gold really fast. Oh, and I gotta find iron, of course. Oh, cool. Very, very welcome. I gotta find iron because I cannot mine gold without the iron. Now, I am gonna close this off. We got seven charcoal. We'll keep the wood for wood. And we'll make some torches. Now, isn't this cozy? Lovely. Lovely, lovely. <coughs> I, of course... Um, I put away all my sticks. And that should really do me with sticks, I think. Oh, I should have planted my wheat. Well, in the morning we'll start... Hopefully we'll get a little bit of iron. And then in the morning I can start... Um, planting stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. And what I know from last time is that this goes by so incredible fast. So we really need to get a move on. Yeah, cool. Gimme, gimme. We still need a long way to go downstairs. I will get the rest of that coal, but for now I just want to go down and see if we can score some iron. That would really help us out. So we don't need to make any swords. You can of course because you can use it to block. But my trick is going to be to run. I'm going to run every time a mob tries to kill me or attack me or uh, come at me. I'm gonna try to run away and hide. So that's my tactic. Let's hope it works. And at night we'll just be mining and... Oh, no, that's not a sound I wanna hear guys. No KV sounds, please. Please. We don't want to hit a cave. Cave means mobs. And yes, it's easier to mine and to find stuff. But mobs are not what we want this time. Well, we're slowly reaching that level. Level 29 we need. And it would be nice to have a very simple branch mine. To hopefully find that gold. And I should be paying attention to my day timer. Because it can go at any moment I think. Let's get a little bit more of these torches going up. Still no iron. We're gonna get loads of cobble. Which can be nice because I want to make a rustic build and maybe use a little bit of cobble in it. <coughs> but mostly wood, so I feel kind of stupid for not planting back those saplings that I gathered. But yeah, I, d I wasn't sure of the place of course. And in the morning I really should see where I want um, my wheat production to go. Oh, I'm already past the level. Wait, wait. Level 29 it is. So that's that level, I think. And I never know if the eye is at your feet or not. But I think if I go in here, I should be fine. Now we're going to make a little room here. <coughs> a 
and I slide it up. Well, it's not going to be a room. It's going to be our first hallway from which we mine further. Still no iron. Oh my gosh. To any iron in here, guys? We really need iron if we want to start mining gold. Is that a cave? Yes, it is. No caves, guys. And we'll get loads of these stones that we won't be able to use for this. Is that this ravine or... Yep, it's the ravine. Well, we can always explore that later if we feel like it. For now, I'm closing it off. Nothing bad is gonna enter here. So we know we got the ravine there and we're gonna hit it with branch mining. So let's go out a bit more to that side, hoping to find iron. Ooh, what's that? Dirt? Yeah. Oh no, it's the redstone again. Oh, and it's day two, and I totally, I totally missed it. Oh my gosh, how silly. How silly of me. Well, that was it for the first episode. It wasn't very exciting, so I'm sorry. Um, it was rather dark even. Now, we got cold, so all the next episodes will be a lot better, hopefully. And next time, we gotta plant our seeds. Um, we gotta start building on a farm. We didn't find any iron yet, so no buckets to move the water. Um, what's next? Bossy? Bossy, next time. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next episode. Bye.